So today, in this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to develop a simple console-based calculator using C Sharp through Visual Studio 2022. So first, let me open up Visual Studio. So now this time I'm not going to create a new project because I have already written a program to add two numbers. So since uh, my intention is to develop a simple calculator consisting of uh, four different operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, I'm going to extend the existing program. So for that, let me open up the already created project. So you click on open a project or solution option. So go to the folder which consists of the application. So I have stored in my own folder. So here I have saved the application. I think it is simple math. So you click on the simple math.sln solution. So once you open that, you will be getting the code. So this is the code what I have written earlier. You go to C sharp code to add two numbers and display the results. So now I am going to extend the same program to implement the four basic operations of a simple calculator. So already I have declared the necessary variables for getting input and displaying the result in a variable sum. So just uh, let me rename this variable into res. So, my intention is that I have to, uh, I want this program to display a menu consisting of uh, four different operations, which will display the four uh, operations as a menu, like one, add, two, subtract, three, multiply, and four, divide. So, once this menu gets displayed, the user uh, will be choose, uh, choosing one option among these four. So based on the option chosen by the user, this program has to perform the operation and display the result. That is the intention. So as of now, just let me comment this statement or let me just remove all this. So we need to declare the necessary variables. We need two variables to get the input and one variable to store the result. So we have two string variables and two integer variables x and y and another additional variable res to store the result. So a, b both are declared to get the input to accept this input in a string format whereas x and y have been declared to convert the string representation of the given input into integer and store the integer value into variables x and y. So that has been done through these statements. So read the input through console.read line and then store the input in variable a and string representation into variable a. Similarly, you read the second input and store the string representation of input in variable b. Then uh, after getting the input, just convert the inputs into integer using parse method which is available inside the int class. So that's what it has been done so far. So now we have to display the menu. So once the menu gets displayed, the user will be able to choose the option. So first let me display the menu using right line method. So 
so 1 and 2 subtract 3 sorry 3 multiply and 4 divide so we need to display each and every menu on a separate line so let me make use of the escape sequence slash n after each option so once this gets displayed we have to get the option from the user so we need to display another right line uh, another statement using right line method asking the user to enter the choice so enter your choice so once the user looks into this statement the user will be typing the choice through the output window so the program has to receive the choice through appropriate variable so let it be ch since the choice is uh, an integer value like 1 2 3 or 4 so you have to get the choice and store it in an integer variable so again we need to uh, get it accept it as a string and then convert to integer so here i have done it in a single statement so into dot parse of console dot read line get the input through read line then convert it using parse method so once the option has been obtained from the user so the program has to process the choice that is it has to perform So once the choice has been obtained, the program has to process the uh, choice and uh, to perform the concerned mathematical operation. So for that, we can make use of switch case statement, which is one of the decision making statements. So switch ch so pass the switch variable, the choice variable into the uh, switch statement. So that is it will be switching to appropriate cases so appropriate case among the defined cases so for this case one what should be done the program has to perform addition and store the result in the variable res so once the choice has been obtained the program has to perform the operation based on the choice so for that let me make use of the switch case statement. Uh, switch, is, switch case is one of the decision making statements. So let us pass the choice variable into the switch statement. So say for example, if the user has chosen choice as 2, so that will be passed into this case switch statement, wherein the appropriate case will be executed. So we have to write the case statements inside each case that is for then starting from case 1 up to 4, we have to define what is to be done for each case. So, switch for case 1. So, we need to do addition. That is, we have to add the two numbers x and y. So, x plus y or es equal to x plus y. Then, come out of the case 1. Then, for case 2, or es equal to x minus y then break then for case 3 so please ensure that you have uh, you are leaving one black space between the keyword case and the number so it should not give like this case followed by the number so obviously you will be getting
So for case three, the option should be that is the operation should be multiplication. So again, look into the intelligence. It is uh, the ID itself suggesting the operation R is equal to X into Y. So just uh, press the tab key to accept it. And for case four, so R is equal to X by y so we have to perform division so we should also provide option for the other options say for example if by mistake the user has given uh, a choice value other than one two three or four what should happen so that should be dealt with in the default case so in this case we have to display appropriate message to the user explaining the error or what the user should do so i am just displaying it as wrong choice and asking the user to enter choice between choice uh, from one to four please enter choice from one to four So that's all. We have completed the case. So now, finally, we have to display the result. So use console dot readline method to display the result. The result is plus the value result and value stored in the variable res. So, but if we look into the res variable in the right line method, it is indicating an error. So, if you move the cursor over this variable, you will be uh, getting the information about the error. So, it is displaying as use of unassigned local variable res. So, if you declare any variable within the main function, you have to assign some value for that. So here, for uh, for the rest of the variables, we have assigned uh, uh, some values or some statements like a equal to console dot readline, b console dot readline, x equal to int dot parse of a. Whereas for res, there is no value assigned. So let me assign us. Let me initialize value minus one. So res equal to minus one. I think now the error has disappeared. So that's all. I completed the program so let me try to uh, check for any other error in the program so just go to the build menu and then select build option i mean build solution so that your application will be uh, compiled so our build is succeeded which means there is no error now let me start to run the application so i am getting the output as enter the first number so let me type for 15, second number let it be 9. So it may, let me give the option as 1. So the result is 24. Yes, uh, 15 plus 9, 24. So I, I have to check for the other options also. I have to test whether the other options are working correctly. So let me give the same uh, number and check for. The second option subtraction yes it is uh, my the expected output is obtained 15 minus 9 it is 6 so i am rerunning the a program to check for the other options so now this time it may give the same number 15 and then 5 as the second number then option 3 which is multiply 15 files are 75 yes it is correct 
then for the last option four same number same first number so let me give it as four then option is four result three four threes are twelve so we are expecting the uh, result to be uh, three point something i think it will be uh, seven fours are twenty eight so it is uh, three point seven five but we are getting the result as three because there is uh, variable res is of type integer so it will accept only or it will consider only the integer part of the result we can rewrite the program such a way that it can the result can be displayed as such that is the exact uh, division exact result of division can be displayed so we have checked for the four options but we should also check for the other options what should uh, happen if the user gives a wrong choice first we have to get, input the number and let me give the choice as 6 yes the output is correct that is it is displaying wrong choice and asking the user to enter the choice from 1 to 4 but again we are getting the result as minus 1 because the res variable has been initialized with the value minus 1 so i think you would have in, understood the uh, understood the code for uh, implementing the operations of a simple calculator you can extend the same program and uh, by in, including the options uh, for uh, x to the power of uh, y or uh, say x modulo y that is m you can do modulo division you can find the power of a number or square root like that so please find time to extend the program and check whether you are getting the expected output or not. Thank you for watching the video.